Hello again, guys. It's Trevor, Heritage Reverse Mortgage. We are Southern Utah's reverse mortgage specialists. My article this week is the three amazing things that most people don't know about reverse mortgages. And the topic of these three things comes from our monthly dinner seminar that we put on because it's funny as we get feedback from our clients and, and the people that attend these dinners, we usually hear the same thing from most people. It's usually along the lines of we had no idea uh, what we didn't know. We, we had no idea that that's how reverse mortgage worked or, or we didn't understand that's not what we'd been hurt. And so it's funny to me that so many people have still have misconceptions about reverse mortgages. Now, I understand a lot has changed over the past few years, and so it's it makes sense that most people don't fully understand it. But it is a, it is an exciting thing for me to dig into these reverse mortgage products and, and the options that they give to people and show my clients how they can live better in retirement by using a reverse mortgage wisely. And so in this article, I talk about the three most common misconceptions that people have, or the three most common aha moments that we have in our dinner seminars. The number one is that the reverse mortgages are guaranteed by FHA. And what that means is that uh, when you have a reverse mortgage, you don't make a monthly mortgage payment. Any interest that accrues on your mortgage is added to the balance of the loan. And so your mortgage balance is going to grow over time, but that gives you the freedom to live in the home uh, with greater financial flexibility and freedom. You own the home, but you don't have to make payments on the, on the balance that you borrowed from the bank. Now, down the road, this does pose a risk in that if the market were to crash, the fact that you're not making mortgage payments could make your home go upside down at some future date. But that's why FHA insures these loans. FHA has stepped in and said that we will guarantee these loans. So if that happens, if the homeowner passes away and the home is upside down, FHA will cover those losses. So the bank is protected, the estate is protected, and, and so that the homeowner can live in this home and have that greater flexibility. Now, the second thing that uh, people don't understand is the growth line of credit. In the old days, when reverse mortgages were created in the 80s, the idea was to, to be able to live in your home, but have the bank actually pay you a monthly income of a few hundred dollars. Nowadays, people don't really do that anymore. There's a few here and there, but most people will set up the growth line of credit because this is a, a cash reserve or it's a, a stock of cash that they can access at any time of funds that, uh, that they can use for whatever they want and it's never taxable. Now, the great thing about this uh, line of credit is that while that money's in there, it's going to grow at an interest rate that's equal to the interest rate on the loan and the mortgage insurance rate. And so I explain in the article, I, I use an example of somebody that has a $100,000 line of credit. He has a combined interest rate of 5%. If he leaves that $100,000 in there for 10 years, it's going to grow to almost, uh, oh, I'm sorry, in the article, I use a 15-year timeline. In 15 years, that $100,000 is going to be up to $208,000. All money that he can access at any time, it's never taxable. And so it's a great way for him to just sit on his equity and leave it alone if he doesn't need it. Now, the third example I use is the one that I get most excited about. This is where people actually continue to treat a reverse mortgage as if it was a standard conventional mortgage. And so in the article, I say the example is, is a client that has $185,000 balance. If they have a conventional mortgage, they're going to pay about $1,000 a month for the next 10 years. They're going to give the bank $120,000 on this home. But in reality, only $35,000 will be applied towards their principal. That other $85,000 they've paid is just interest. And to top it off, to make it even worse, if the market were to crash at the end of that 10, 10 years, all of their money could be gone. If they lose 20, 30, 40, 50% of their equity in a major market crash, that $120,000 they've given the bank, it's gone. Now contrast that, contrast that with a reverse mortgage. If they do a reverse mortgage with that same $185,000 balance and they make that same thousand dollar monthly payment for the next 10 years, they're going to give the bank $120,000. But here's the beauty. With a reverse mortgage, all of that money they've given to the bank can be pulled back out. It's just like a high interest paying savings account. And so every month they pay that thousand dollars in. They pay down the mortgage balance just like a regular mortgage. But at the end of 10 years, even if the market crashes, they can pull out that $120,000 plus the interest that they've accrued. And so at the end of 10,000 or at the end of 10 years, they actually have almost $160,000 in this account that they can pull back out, never taxed. 
And so again, this is what I recommend to most of my clients, that, that this is how you should use a reverse mortgage, especially if you're in your 60s. If you have the ability to make some payments, you never have to make any payment on a reverse mortgage. Payments are always voluntary. But if you can do $100, $1,000, $10,000, if you can put anything into this line of credit, it's really going to serve you long term because it's going to pay down your mortgage balance and it's going to be cash reserves that you can dip into into the future when you need it most. And so if you or somebody else is thinking about a reverse mortgage, please work with a professional. Work with a reverse mortgage specialist that really understands these options and these strategies that will help you get on the right path to a better financial future in your retirement. Thank you again. I look forward to speaking with you. If you have more questions about any of this, please give me a call, 435-359-9000.